Ist das der Fritz? Du, ja. Ich, gebe dir, ich mach so. Mach so. Weil ich mir den Finger gebrochen habe. Oh Gott, das ist I've known him since his days back in Munich and we stayed in touch ever since. Dass die Disco Welt wieder so groß ist, muss man eigentlich das Punk äh, danken. Jetzt ist jetzt ist Disco wieder da. In Los Angeles gibt es einen Club, der heißt Giorgio und die spielen nur Disco Musik. The artist who had put Munich back on the music map with a new Munich Disco Sound is Matthias Modica, aka Munk. Die kennst du? Die kenne ich zweifelsohne. Hören wir ein bisschen was an von Chic und du erklärst mir, wie Disco funktioniert. Mhm, ein Beispiel von Chic. Also da hört man diese ganz prägnante Gitarre, die natürlich den Stil von Nile Rogers und von Chic ausmacht. Die Funkbands der 70er Jahre hatten gern diese mhm. funky Riffs, die hat er dann übernommen. Dazu die Snare Drum mhm. und im Hintergrund bei diesen frühen Disco-Platten noch relativ leise ist diese Four to the Floor Bass Drum, mhm. ähm, die da gerade durchgeht. That kind of started the disco craze. From then, everybody started doing, you know, using the same grooves. It was Earl Young in Philadelphia who made the early disco sound famous. We love the fact that they call they start calling us number one disco group. Being number one in anything is good, as long as it's not something bad. Until this day, disco parties in New York are legendary. From the very start, iconic DJ Nicky Ciano was a star. Underground dance clubs started to evolve and spawned a disco culture with open drug use, on-site sex, and ecstatic non-stop all-night dancing in its way. Before becoming resident DJ at the famous Studio 54, Nicky opened the gallery, which became the blueprint for modern dance clubs. I think the gallery should have gone on. It really shouldn't have closed when it did. My brother had a dick up his ass. He just had, <laughs> because I was doing drugs, I didn't want to watch you kill yourself and this and that, but meanwhile, he was doing drugs too. So I was doing heroin, he was doing cocaine. So that was a big difference. In 1975, one song changed the course of history. We walked into the club and I went, whoa, what the hell is that? And again, it started in Munich. I always think of the troops coming in, you know? I mean, winter, 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 winter. Donna Summer became an overnight sensation and one of the biggest stars in the decade. I put it on right away in the club because I heard it in my headphones. Wow, this is different and good. And they went wild. It was really a great new sound. The sound was big like if it was for a movie score. It was just bigger than the norm. Giorgio sent hit. Die Leute wollen finden das Lied dufte, wo jeder will es. Und da habe ich noch noch mal draufgelegt mit den Stöhnen. Es dauerte über 30 Jahre, bis die Macher von damals wiederentdeckt wurden. Und eines ist ganz klar heute: Disco, lange abwesend, ist wieder da. I still think that to this day, the Rolling Stones' biggest record is Miss You. Do, 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 do. And Rod Stewart's biggest record is Do You Think I'm Sexy? No one would call them a disco artist, but they got into it because disco was open. You know that Mick Jagger couldn't do a hip hop record. <laughs> that would be hysterical. Actually, I'd love to hear that. 
Now and then. There is always a story behind the music. She's up all night.